Here comes the leprechaun truck. See those little guys? And they have all their gold there. This is Joan Marie Domino from Vippy's Designs and Decoupage Rocket Girls. And I'm going to show you how you can take that iconic pickup truck and make it into this really fun St. Patrick's Day centerpiece. All right, let's get started. I went to the Dollar General and I found this pickup truck uh, with the hearts. And I didn't want to do anything for Valentine's Day. I really wanted to do something for St. Patrick's Day. So I found a way to use this truck and not worry about the hearts. You're not going to see the hearts when you're done. So I'm telling you this for another reason. If you find these trucks and it has something on the back, like maybe Easter or Christmas, and you don't want it for that, I'm going to show you how you can cover this. So any of these trucks that you use, you can put anything you want in the back. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to paint the truck. I'm going to paint this part of the truck green. I'm going to paint the hearts and the fenders in gold, and the door is going to be in a dark green. All right, so for the body of the truck, I am using sage green, okay? It's very pretty. All right, I'm going to get my brush. Here we go. All right, and I'm just going to start to paint the truck. This is probably going to need a couple of coats um, when I'm done. Okay. Now, when you go to the fender part, that's here. You just want to try to go along the curve just the best that you can. And you're going to continue to do this until you cover the entire truck. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. All right, I've completed painting the truck. And again, I did the body in this sage green. It's very nice. Now for the hearts and the fenders, I used gold paint. I This is really the only thing I had that was in gold. It's the luminary sunset gold. Any gold paint that you have at home would be fine. Okay, for the door, I used this green, it's called Bonsai. And I want to point out one thing too about the door. Okay, the truck comes like this and there really, there is no door. You have to put it in yourself, which is all right. I just outlined it and I painted it in with dark green and there I got a door, okay? All right, now we're gonna work on starting to construct the back of this truck. And all the things I used are really simple, easy things, um, very common, uh, popsicles, sticks you know there again you can get these at the craft stores the dollar stores have them i'm also using these they're called tumbling tower game um, pieces and um, there's a whole bunch of them in there but we use them for all kinds of crafting so you want to get some of those and we're also going to need some of these little cubes um, they are called here we go um, wood craft cubes and we use them for lots of different things too all right, so those will need to be painted in that same green, the bonsai green, and I've already done that. So we're ready to start putting that together. Okay, so we're going to start out with these, the tumbling tower ones, and we're gonna put one on each side, one here and one here. Okay, so let's hot glue them on. Okay, and it looks like it's a little bit, there we go. All right, straight as you can. If you messed up the painting in there, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. All right, so now we're going to do another one. Okay, with hot glue. And you want to try to put it as even with the bottom one as you can. Okay, then that be perfect. It's a pickup truck. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now we're on our way to constructing the um, back rack of the truck. All right, now we're going to start to use the popsicle sticks, okay? So I'm going to put one on the bottom, and we'll just put a little bit of glue on each side, like that. And we're just going to take it, and we're going to put it like that. See? How easy is that? Look at that. Once you learn how to do this, you can do it for all different things. You could put anything you want in the back of the truck. Okay, I'm going to put one more on and then I'm going to stop and I'm going to start to put the coins on. I'm telling you that because once we start hot gluing those coins on, um, you want to make sure that you leave enough space 
so that you could put the other popsicle sticks on. Okay, there you go. Here, I'll have you take a look at that. Okay, look, we're on our way. Okay, now let's get some of our gold coins and we're just going to start gluing them in there. Okay, so you put your hot glue and you're just gonna start putting them in there like that. And you're gonna be able to overlap them because you know, once you've finished putting the rest of this little gate on, um, they're not gonna come out, <laughs> so that's good. But you wanna definitely fill up that whole truck because these are, you know, these are leprechauns. They have a lot of their gold that they have to bring. I don't know, where do you think they're bringing it? <laughs> Okay, you see, that's why I need to have that there because I want to make sure that the coins aren't going to be too high. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting these coins on now. I've glued all of the coins now in the back of the pickup truck. And again, when I was putting them in there, I kind of just laid these little um, popsicle sticks down just to make sure that the coins weren't getting too high. Okay, so let's finish putting the popsicle sticks on with the hot glue. All righty. And you wanna leave a little bit of a space like that in between. It's gonna be able to see a little bit of the coins through there. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay. All righty. And put that one on. all right look at that okay so now you can see that all of the coins are going to stay inside there it's very very nice okay now we got to add our leprechauns now these leprechauns came off of the headbands that they sold at the dollar tree they were like that but i thought wow they would look really cute on the back of this pickup truck and we're just going to hot glue them on so um, let me take a look so I know where to put the glue. All right, all over the back. I always put extra because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to need it. So I always like to have enough. Okay, and we're gonna put that guy there. Okay. All right, let's put his friend on. His friend, could be his friend, could be his brother, right? All right, there we go. And put him there. Okay. All right, one more guy. All right. Just make sure you put lots of glue on. All righty. All right, here comes our third leprechaun. There you go. All right, just make sure it stays on. All right, let's take a look at what we got so far. Look how cute. There they are. They're guarding all of their money. All right, let's go on now to the base. Um, the base actually comes with the truck, okay? It looks like this, and the truck goes inside of it, and it stays in. The only thing I found out is it doesn't really stay in, so I had to do something else um, to get the truck to stand up. All right, so what I did is I painted the base green. Um, again, I used the same color, which is bonsai. All right, now to get the truck to stand up, oops, okay. To get the truck to stand up, I'm going to have to put something in the back of it, um, glue it to the back of it so that it's going to stay up like that. Okay, so. I have these little blocks here. Oh my God, there's glue everywhere. And here they are. And I'm going to put them behind the truck, all right, behind the truck tires. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see. It's like that. And I'm going to put them here. And then that's going to keep the truck from falling over, okay? So let's see. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. And a little bit of glue there. Okay. And now we're going to put down our little cubes. Like that one there. And that one there. All right. Like that. And 
I think I did another two. I did, okay, just for extra um, measures to make sure that it's not going to fall over. Of course, I'm doing this as a centerpiece. We're not going to be hanging this up anyway. And we're gonna put another one there. And we're gonna put another one there like that. So now our pickup truck, I'll turn it around. Wow, this glue. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to turn it around, and there you go. You can see now the pickup truck is definitely not going to be moving, okay? That looks nice. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do the tires. And what I did for the tires, because of the way the fender is, it was really hard to paint round, I decided I would just do a punch out of the tires. This is a pretty common size punch. I'm not exactly sure what the radius is, but it's common. And I'm just going to cut out two, like that. Okay, put that aside. And now we'll put them on. I'm gonna lay this back down as best I can anyway. I think I'll put the glue directly onto the tire itself. Okay, like that. And then we're gonna put the tire on. There we go. Alrighty, and we'll do the other one. There we go. I know Art's being very patient with me because this is very awkward um, to make. All right, and awkward to film. And we'll put that there. Okay, so now we have our tire. And on the inside of the tires, guess what I'm going to use? I'm going to use a couple of gold coins. So we're going to put the glue on it. All right. And I'm going to tilt it. I hope you can see it. I'm just going to go like that. And we're going to do the other one. This time we'll have the um, four leaf clover showing. Okay. And we're going to put it like that. Okay. So that's kind of like the tire rim. Oh, does that look good? Coming along good so far. Okay, now, as you notice, I haven't done the truck yet. Like with this truck, I had already put the three-leaf clovers on or the shamrocks. I didn't do it this time because I found the first time I did it, I wasn't really sure how much of the truck I was going to see after I did this rack part. So that's why I did that first, and then I'm going to do um, the rest of the truck. And what we're going to use is we're going to use stickers, all right? Um, I got these actually on Amazon. I couldn't find them anywhere. And I thought that this part can actually be done with your children or your grandchildren, can help you decorate. It's very easy to just peel them off. Okay, and put them on like that. All right. You can find bigger ones, or you can use punch outs, which is actually what I did use on the first one um, because that's all I had to use um, for shamrocks is I had to use uh, my punches. But well, that's okay. This came out very cute. There we go. Okay, so now we have our shamrocks on the truck, and that looks really nice. All right, so now we want to hide the base, and this is pretty easy to do as well. Um, I'm going to have to get some of my paper to put down because now is like the messy part. All right, so to cover this, okay, I wanted to put down moss. So I got this again. I've used this in other um, videos. It's called Moss Sheet, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. And you can see it's like one sheet that you can cut of moss and here it is and i'm going to glue it down on top like that so we're just going to put some glue onto the base like that and we're going to lay it down on top look see that that's why you have to use a lot of glue all right now we're going to do the same thing in the back now in the back, remember I put those little blocks, so I'm going to have to cut this. All right, so we'll just kind of, I'm eyeballing this, I'm not going to measure. Okay, 
and this side here. All right, and we're going to put some hot glue in there. Okay, I'm going to put that down like that. Okay, so you can see we're starting to get um, all of our grass for the chuck. Okay, I'm going to finish putting all of this grass. I'm also going to use some reindeer moss, and I'm going to be right back. All right, I finished all the grass for underneath the chuck, and I even added some of this reindeer moss to really have it growing all over, and it really covered the base of the truck. Looks really, really nice. Now, two other things I did is I put a popsicle stick all in the bottom like that. It's like a running board, and it fit like perfect, so I thought that was a nice little touch. And then for the door, I have a shamrock, and what I did is I just used my punch, and my heart punch, and you just put three of them together, and you have a shamrock. All right, so if you were to put this on the table, which is what I'm going to do, you could just take some of your gold coins and just put it along with the chuck like that. I'm kind of thinking that these guys are not going to let the coins fall out of the back of that, but it looks very cute on the table like that. So if you see these chucks in the store, um, and again, if you don't like what's behind it, now you know how to build this little rack in the back so you can put anything you want in this. And I hope that you're going to give this a try. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is DIY Decoupage with Joan Marie Domino. Please give me a thumbs up because you like the video and maybe you're going to make this. Hit the little bell. The little bell means every time I upload a new video, you're going to get a notification. And I'm doing a lot more videos now. They're coming out quickly, so you want to hit that little bell. I want to thank Vippy's Designs. They help me out with a lot of this stuff, and they're great, and I love them. www.vippies.com. I want to thank my camera guy, Art, who really is helpful, especially in this, because it was kind of three-dimensional. He did a really good job, and thank you for watching my video.